So we're going to be needing a block potentially to start off today's class. Getting into the back, a little bit of strengthening, a little bit of release. So I'm going to give you a couple of variations of what we can do. Just rolling down onto your back, head towards the top of the mat, whatever end that is for you. Uh, soles, feet flat on the floor. We're just going to press into the feet, lift the hips just a little bit. Put in your block, cushions, bolster, whatever it is beneath you. Just bridging that space to the top of the bum, lower back, just across that iliac crest, the hips. You can go deeper, you know, it's your spine. Just be mindful that when you straighten your legs, it's going to intensify the back pain. Okay? So we're going to be here for a few minutes. This is just the opening, just tuning in section. So you might want a, quite a low, shallow, you may want to go deep. We're going to be straightening the legs. If this is completely unavailable to you, then you can bring the soles of the feet together and depending on how tight the heels are to the bum, it may create a little bit of compression into the lower back. We only need a little bit, we don't need a lot. Especially right at the start of the class. So just finding something that's suitable for you. Something that's available and accessible for your spine, for your back, for your body. And again, take a few moments just to get settled. You can pause me if you need to, while you find your right pose. And when you're ready, you can take the arms out to the side if you wish. Today I'm just going to add mine down the side of the body. Option to take them up overhead as well, as long as you can relax into the shoulders and the chest. It's perfectly fine. You may get more of a stretch through the pecs as well, if you take the arms up overhead. But just close the eyes down. We're just taking a moment just to settle in, just to tune into this space, into the body, onto our mat. Trying to just allow the, the worldly distractions to just fade away into the distance. Closing your eyes down, just softening, allowing the body to be nice and heavy wherever you are. Just beginning with a nice gentle inhaling through the nose, just allowing the lungs to expand, explore where the breath moves into the body, it could be the belly, the chest, it could be anywhere really. And then when you're ready, nice sigh out through the mouth, just exhale to release any tension, any stress from the body. Have a nice deep inhale in through the nose, nice and deep, filling the lungs as full as they go. Explore where the breath moves to. And then exhale, nice sigh out through the mouth. Just release any stress. One more nice deep inhale in, filling the lungs, filling the belly or the chest or the ribs or even the back. And then nice sigh out through the mouth. Letting go of any mental, physical, emotional, energetic tension or stress. And just allowing the body to be nice and heavy. Just allowing it to form over that block, bolster, cushion. Allowing it to melt down into the earth. And just as the body softens, just allow the mind to just fall down into the breath. Not for control, just for observation. So we're surrendering control of the breath here. Just allowing the body to take what it needs. As and when it needs it. Checking in with the awareness, it's quite sly, it can wander off, tricks the brain into thinking. 
just seeing those thoughts, just releasing those thoughts, coming back to the breath and the sensations that come with the breath. Do the sensations through the nostrils, through the airways in the head. Could be the muscular movement through the body, the skin stretching and relaxing. allowing that awareness to move more into the body. And it will start at the hips where we've got this elevation of this little gentle compression into the lower back. And just feeling the heaviness, just allowing the body to feel heavy in that area of contact between you and the floor, you and the support moving away, not just necessarily in the hips and the lower back, but down into the back of the legs, the back of the shoulders, the back of the arms, the back of the head. And from there, just allow the awareness to start to move up through the body, not just around the skin, but through the joints, through the bones. Can we feel that pressure into the bones? Can we feel muscles being squashed? Can we feel tension in joints? Can we feel the change between tension and softness through the muscle, through the joint? Explore the range of sensations, explore the merge of sensations. Just bringing a nice awareness into the whole body. It's an awareness that we want to move with through the practice, especially when we're doing spinal work, but any practice in general. Don't let ego take over. We need to listen to our bodies, our practice. Don't let anybody else sway your practice. I'm just here as a guide. Toes a nice gentle wiggle. The fingers a nice gentle wiggle. And just gently walking the feet back towards the bum. Maybe if the knees are out to the side, just using the hands to draw the knees back together. When your soles of the feet are flat on the floor, you can press into the floor, lift the hips up. Just gently release hips back down to the floor. And then extend the legs away from the body again. Roll over to the right hand side and all the way around to the belly. We're just moving to the right because it's a yang practice. If we were doing yin, we'd be moving to the left for yin energy. But this is a yang practice, so it's masculine, it's, it's hot. So it's all on the right side, it's the sun, it's light. We're going to bring the elbows beneath the shoulders. If possible, if this is too much on the lower back already, you can take the elbows wider. But where possible, elbows beneath the shoulders. Try and draw the shoulders back down the body. Pull, pull in the heart forward. Try and relax the bum cheeks. But feeling a little bit of compression into the mid to lower back here. So drawing the shoulders back, drawing the heart forward. Okay. Me, sorry. Just nice and neutral through the neck. So we don't need to look up, we don't need to tuck the chin. Just drawing the shoulders and the forearms back, pulling the heart through the arm. Feel a little bit of warmth again. We don't want any sharp shooting pains at any point anywhere in the body, but we just want a, a nice warming sensation into that mid to lower back. Softening the bum. We're not clenching the butt cheeks just yet. Nice and gently, just release and make a little pillow for the head, turn the head off to the right. Little shake of the hips if you want to release the hips and the lower back. 
I know some people like to take their feet in the air and wave them around. Not my cup of tea, but you're more than welcome to do it if you wish. I just like shaking my bum. And when we're ready, we're going to bring the chin back to centre, bring the hands in line with the chest. So, toes together. <clears throat> Try and keep the feet down on the floor here. We're going to be using the back here, so we can draw in the glutes here now. We can engage the glutes, we can engage the back. We're going to be doing some dynamic cobras, but we want to be using the back. So it's not just a case of pushing into the floor. We don't want all the weight in our arms. We want to engage the back of the body. Okay, so first couple of rounds we'll use the hands, nice inhale. As you lift up a weight, you can press into the hands, but feel the engagement through the back and the glutes. Neck nice and neutral, shoulders rolling down the back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, engage through the back of the body, shoulders roll back, neck nice and neutral. We don't need to go super high. If you can't, if you move, uh, inhale, <laughs> come back up, engage the shoulders. So if you take the hands off the floor, you want to be able to stay where you are. But if we come up onto our fingertips, maybe a little bit lighter here, exhale, lower down, engage the lower back, lower. You know what I mean. Inhale, engage the glutes, roll the shoulders back, coming up nice and neutral through the neck. Exhale, lower down, one more here. I'm going to inhale, engage through the back of the body, maybe coming up onto fingertips. Exhale, lower down, make a pillow for the head, turn the head off to the left. A little shake of the hips or maybe wave your feet, whatever feels good. And then it's your body. I'm just a guy. When I can talk. <laughs> bring in the hands or chin back to centre, bring the hands back in line with the chest. See if we can go even lighter in the hands, maybe fingertips, maybe taking the hands off. So nice inhale, keep the feet pressing down into the floor, shoulders roll back. Maybe the hands come off the floor, maybe we're just light on the fingertips. Maybe we're still flat on the floor, it's perfectly fine, lower down. Inhale, engage through the back of the body, lift the heart up, shoulders roll back. Feet on the floor, exhale, lower down. Inhale, rolling up, lifting up. Exhale, lower down. A little bit of cheating, you can use the expansion of the belly as you inhale to lift the upper body up. It's a little trick on that. Exhale, lower down. Helps having a bit of a belly. <laughs> inhale, nice and gently, roll the shoulders back, coming off the floor. Engage the glutes, engage the spinal muscles. Exhale, with the spinal strength. One more, nice inhale, lifting up. If you've got your hands on the floor, it's perfectly fine. It's your body, it's your practice. Exhale, release down, just build up to it over time. Make a little pillow for the head, gaze off to the right, little release of the hips. Bringing the toes together, take the hands back down either side of the hips, palms face down here, chin on the floor. You're going to take a nice inhale, roll, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down the back. Hands still on the floor, toes still on the floor, neck nice and neutral. Again, feeling the muscles, either side of the vertebrae, down through the back. And exhale, make a little pillow for the head, turn the head off to the opposite side to what you just did. A little shake of the hips if you want to release. Lower back. <clears throat> bringing the chin back to centre we're going to take the hands back down either the side of the hips chin down on the floor this time we're going to inhale as we exhale we're going to lift up the feet and the legs so just the hips and the belly and the chin down on the floor nice straight legs we're not just bending at the knees Drawing in the glutes again, lower back, drawing in the hamstrings to assist as well. So it's contraction through the hamstrings, the glutes and the lower back. Exhale, release the feet down, make a little pillow for your head with your hands. Turn the gaze off to the opposite side again, little shake of the hips if you wish. In the 
chin back to center. Take the hands either side of the hips, palms face down. Toes together. You're going to take a nice inhale here. And as we exhale, we're going to pull away from the floor. Chest and feet. Maybe the hands are pressing down into the floor either side of the hips. Maybe even the hands come off the floor as the shoulders roll down the back. Palms facing each other behind the bum. Again, little skydiver's pose, locust pose. Keep the breath moving here. Keep the back of the body nice and engaged, nice and strong. Neck neutral, shoulders pulling back. Butt cheeks nice and tense. Buns are still here. And then exhale, hands down in line with the chest. We're going to tuck the toes on or off the knees. Take a nice inhale, press away from the foot. Exhale, press into a nice little downward dog. Spread the weight through the hands, fingertips, knuckles, here, the hand all pressing down into the earth. Chest back towards the thighs. Let's keep the shoulder blades rolling away from each other. So we're not collapsing into the chest. And take the dog for a little walk, padding out the heels nice and gently. Neutralising through the spine. A little bit of core engagement, sucking the belly button towards the spine. Move your ears in your practice, you can begin to engage it now. That slight restriction through the back of the throat. Warms up the oxygen going into the blood. Come into stillness in your downward. A little bend into the knees is fine to release the hamstrings. Heels pressing towards the floor, doesn't matter if they touch them. You gently walk, hop, step, jump to the top of the mat. Feet hip distance, inhale, halfway lift, half forward. Exhale, nice little round through the back. Take either elbow in the hands, shake out the neck. And just stay in stillness here, weight forward into the toes. Then you can bend the knees if you need to, but straighten where possible. And release the hands down to the floor, nice deep bend into the knees. Keep the head nice and heavy, we're just going to slowly straighten through the legs. It's unraveling the spine vertebrae by vertebrae as we come up to stand. Head's the last thing to move. So when the shoulders come up, begin to inhale, sweep the arms out. Option to take the gaze up towards the thumbs if you wish, if it's available. Exhale. And the CT, he hangs to heart centre. Bringing the toes together, heels slightly apart. Classical Surya Namaskar. Inhale, sweep the arms up, hips forward, heart up to the sky. Gentle little back bend, retract the shoulder blades. Half moves away from the hips in any back bend. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale to forward fold, weight into the toes, round the back as you lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, left foot back. Knees, chest, chin, so shoulders back, stick your bum up, nice little arch into the back. Untuck the toes, hips down, cobra. Shoulders roll back, maybe jazz hands if you wish. Exhale, hands down, tuck the toes, down the dog. Then inhale, right foot to the sky, hips nice and level here. Left heel down, right heel up. Chest back to the thigh. Nice stretch through that right, left hamstring. Releases the lower back. Exhale, bring the right foot through. On or off the back knee, sweep the arms up to the sky. We're gonna exhale, see if we can lean back. Heart pressing away from the hips. Shoulders pulling back. Maybe your hands come into prayer, maybe they're separate. Listen to your body. Heart away from the hips. Hips pressing forward and down, heart reaching up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, left foot forward, halfway lift. Heart forward, nice flat back. Exhale, round. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Hips forward, heart up to the sky, gentle back bend. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, right foot back. Knees, chest, chin to the floor, shoulders back, bums up in the sky. Arms up the toes, hips down, shoulders back, cobra. Maybe jazz hands. 
Exhale, hands down, the toes. Down with dog. Then we inhale that left foot to the sky, hips level, right heel down, left heel up, chest back to the thigh. The left toes pointing to the floor, try and keep the hips next to each other. You may not get that left foot as high, but you're getting a better stretch into that right hamstring. Exhale, bring that left foot through, on or off the back knee, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lean back. Heart reaching up, shoulders pulling back, hips forward and down. Options to take the gaze back if it's comfortable on the neck. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, right foot forward, halfway lift, heart forward, nice flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out, hips forward, half up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, sun to CT Hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up, hips forward, half up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, left foot back. Knees, chest, chin to the floor, shoulders roll back. Bump up the toes, hips go down, shoulders roll back. Hands off the floor if it's available. Exhale, hands down, tuck the toes. Down with dog. Inhale, right foot to the sky, hips level. Left heel down, right heel up. Nice stretch through that left hamstring. Exhale, bring the right foot through. Inhale, sweep the arms up, on or off the back knee. Exhale, lean back, heart reaches up to the sky. Option to drop the head back towards the hand. Nice little crescent lunge. Breathe. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, left foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, hips forward, half up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, right foot back. Knees, chest, chin to the floor, shoulders roll back. On top the toes, hips down. Maybe the hands come off your cobra. Exhale, hands down. Tuck the toes down with dog. Inhale, left foot to the sky, hips level, left heel up, right heel down. Chest back to the thigh. Exhale, left foot through. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, gentle lean back, shoulders retract, heart pushes forward and up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, right foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms. Hips forward, heart up. Option for gaze up. Exhale, samasthiti, hands to heart center. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Let's take a moment just to come back to the breath. Come back to the body. Come back to the mind. Yoga means to unite, to bond. It's keeping that breath, mind and movement all in one. Keeping that connection as we flow. Blinking the eyes open, hands to heart centre. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Gonna inhale, sweep the arms, hips forward, heart up to the sky, gentle back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back to plank. On or off the knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, shoulders roll back either way, heart presses forward, exhale, down with dog. Gonna inhale, right foot to the sky, hips nice and level. Opening up the hamstrings, open up to the lower back as well. Right toes pointing down to the floor, chest back to the thigh. Exhale, right foot through between the hands. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. On or off the back knee is perfectly fine. You can look down, sideways or up, just rotate the neck to 
whatever's available. Trying to open up that right shoulder to the sky. Maybe the gaze goes up to the hand. Shifting the weight a little bit over to the right side, we're going to engage and press into that right foot to come up into a twisted standing lunge. Exhale, lower the left hand back down, right hand to the sky, into a low twisted lunge. Connected to the breath, thinking of the Ujjayi if we can. Exhale, right hand to the floor, take the right foot back, lower through Chaturanga, run off the knees, inhale, nice cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Nice big inhale through the nose, nice release and exhale out through the mouth. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. I'm going to inhale that left foot to the sky. Hips level. Right heel down, left heel up. Exhale, bring that left foot through between the hands. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Hips pressing forward and down. Rotate your neck to whatever's available on your body. Shifting the weight over to the left a little bit, press into that left foot as we slowly come up into our standing twisted lunge. Maybe the gaze is back, maybe it's sideways, maybe it's forward. Hips pressing forward and down. And breathe. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the floor, left arm up to the sky, low twisted lunge. Exhale, left hand to the floor, take the left foot back, lower through Chaturanga, inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale, downward dog. Nice big inhale through the nose, nice release and exhale out through the mouth. Nice inhale, nice exhale. We're going to inhale, roll forward to the knees. And we're going to walk our hands back as we inhale, coming up. Keeping the toes tucked. You might want to shuffle forward on your mat. Keep the toes tucked, hands onto your hips. Either just above the bum, maybe on the bum. Take an inhale, heart to the sky, shoulders roll back. Maybe we stay here. Maybe we drop the head back. Maybe the hands walk down the back of the thighs. Maybe they find the heels. Keep the hips forward, heart up to the sky. Retract the shoulder blades and engage the glutes. And listen to your body. Do not collapse into the lower back. Lengthen the heart away from the hips. Engage the glutes, draws in the lower back muscle. Depending on how strong your back is, you can walk the hands back up the back of the legs. Maybe bring the hands to heart centre. And then exhale back up to neutral. Untuck the toes. Sit down onto the heels. Press the hands in the lap. Close the eyes down. Come back to the huge. Come back to the yoga. Find that bond. Mind, body, breath. Blinking the eyes open. Coming back up onto your knees. Knees roughly hip distance here. Options. Toes tucked. Toes untucked. Again, it depends on your back. Try not to collapse into your lower back. You push the hips forward, hands onto the small of the back or the bum. Press the hips forward, inhale, heart to the sky, shoulders roll back. Option to stay here, drop the head back maybe, chin to chest maybe. 
Lots of different variations. Maybe the hand slides just down to the hamstrings and you stay here. Heart up, hips full. Maybe you can reach the heels. Hips forward, heart up. No sharp shooting pains anywhere. If you're feeling that ease off, it's your practice. Next exhale, maybe the hands walk back up the back of the legs, finding the way back to the hips. Maybe the hands come to heart centre. And you exhale, engaging the core, coming back up. Sit back down onto the heels. Press the hands in the lap, close the eyes down. Candles are really strong pose. Give the chance, the body a chance to settle. And absorb. eyes open. If this is getting too much on your knees, you can use a block or something underneath the bum here. Maybe several cushions. Whatever's available if you need to. Uh, maybe you're able to nestle the bum down in between the heels. So your bum's on the floor down. I'm just going to take the hands back. You can walk, uh, point the fingers backwards. So just literally just behind the feet here. You're going to take a nice inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to lift the hips and try and push the hips forward again. Option to drop the head back. It's going to what's available. It could be too intense on the quads. It could be too far onto the back. Just explore ranges. Listen to your body. And breathe. And then exhale nice and gently, releasing the bum back down to the block or the floor. You're going to find hero's pose, so maybe this is really intense on your hands, on your quads. Maybe you're happy here, maybe you're able to walk the hands back. Slight slant in the body. Maybe you're able to drop to the elbows. Maybe you're able to go all the way back. Maybe even the arms up overhead. Again, finding your variation. It's just a practice. Wherever you're feeling the intensity, into the burn, into the stretch. If it's the quads, just soften into it. If it's the compression in the lower back, just soften into it. Maybe it's across the hip flexors, across the front of the hips here, just below the belly. Maybe it's even in the belly, moving up into the chest and sternum. So just soften into any sensation. If we're contracting in a stretch, and then we're resisting, we're not allowing the actin and the myosin to open. So a little bit of yin mentality here, especially if you've got tight quads. I'm going to be able to soften into those quads, to allow them to lengthen. And that burning sensation, you can feel that stretch, you can feel that almost an alarm going off. It's just the muscle spindle signaling to the body. Go easy, but the fact that you can feel it means that you've got muscle to stretch into. Nice and gently, coming back up to sit. And maybe pressing into the elbows if you're all the way down onto the floor. I'm just going to give a quick example of what I mean. If you use your arm, for example, if you extend your arm fully, you don't feel a stretch in your bicep. Yeah, because we're always straightening our arms, but the elbow stops you from overextending. So we're not feeling a the stretch there. If your quads are stretching, we don't often stretch the quads, it means that there's muscle, the muscle can lengthen further. We don't feel it in here because that muscle is fully extended. Okay. Uh, I forgot where I am now. Hands down on the floor, coming up onto all fours, we're going to walk the feet back. Come back, come back. Gently rolling down onto our bellies. <coughs> We are going to bend up both the legs towards the bum. If you can't reach with your hands, grab a strap or a belt or a scarf or something. Take around the ankles here so you can reach back onto your ankles. Take a nice inhale. 
And as we exhale, we're going to push the feet away from the body, roll the shoulders back. Coming up into a nice bow pose, neutral through the neck. So we're using the legs to pull away from the body. And we're holding onto the legs to pull the body back. Retracting the shoulder blades here helps. Engage the glutes to protect the lower back. And breathe. If we can, and only if we can, roll off to the right hand side. See if we can still push those feet away, take the gaze over the left shoulder, give ourselves a little wave with our little left tootsies. See if we can roll back onto our belly, come back into bow just for a breath. And then exhale, roll off to the left side. Gaze over our right shoulder, give ourselves a little wave with our right tootsies. Still maintaining that arch through the back. Coming back to centre. Nice stretch and reach, pull the feet away, pull the body back. And then exhale, release. Nice. Make a little pillow for your head. A nice little shake of the hips. Maybe you're doing your wave of the feet thing. Coming back to centre. Hands in line with the chest. Tuck the toes if we can. Inhale on or off the knees. Back to plank. Exhale. Downward dog. We can walk, hop, step, jump through to our bums. So inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or jump. Top of the mat. Sit down onto our bum. Legs out in front. Maybe opening up the sit bones. Nice and strong in the thighs. Lift the heels off the floor if we can for a nice quad engagement. Lift the kneecaps. Nice engagement through the core. Crown of the head up to the sky. Just rest the hands either side. Nice and lightly on the floor. All the strokes coming from the legs and the torso. We're going to bring the eyes open, take a nice inhale, sweep the arms out to the side and up to the sky. Exhale, nice and gently fold forward, first two fingers and thumb around the big toes if possible. If not, down the back of the legs is perfectly fine. Try and roll the shoulders down the back though. So retracting the shoulder blades pushes the heart forward. Keep the feet nice and flexed, the toes back to the heart, heart to toes. Not forehead to knees, chest forward. Again, lengthening the hamstrings releases the lower back. Nice and gently release, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. We're going to walk the hands back, fingertips pointing forward, point through the toes. Nice and strong through those legs again. So engage the calves, engage the thighs, lock out the knees, take a nice inhale. And as you exhale, lift up the hips, engage the glutes, push up from underneath. Option to drop the head back if it's available. And then exhale, release the hips down to the floor. Well done. Nice and gently. Rolling down onto the back. Bring the knees up, nice flat back here. One knee in each hand. Preferably right and right and left and left. <laughs> Pull the knees gently down towards the armpits or the upper arms. Trying to keep the hips and the shoulders nice and flat on the floor. If we're happy here, we can stay here. If you want to go a little bit deeper, bring the elbows inside the knees. Take the feet up above the knees, forearms across in front of the shins, hands to the outside of the feet. Gently pull the feet and the knees down towards the earth. Lower back can curl up a little bit here, it's fine. the 
soles of the feet together. Bring the knees together, wrap the arms around the knees. Maybe flat back, maybe curling up into a ball, maybe stay in stillness, maybe taking a gentle rock side to side. Completely up to you. Now nice and gently, just releasing feet to the end of the mat. Hands down the side of the body. Unraveling the spine. Close the eyes down. Maybe a little scan from the toes, down through the feet, up through the leg. Any tension anywhere you want to release, just flex and relax the muscle as you move up and through. Maybe a gentle wiggle of the fingers, maybe a gentle wiggle of the jaw. Softening all the muscles around the eyes, across the forehead. The body becomes heavy and dissolves through the earth. Just allow your minds to go. Allow your thoughts to simply evaporate. Sigh out through the mouth, just to release the practice. The toes a nice gentle wiggle. Give the fingers a nice gentle wiggle. Just allow the head to roll over to the right. Come back to the centre and off over to the left. So it comes back to the middle, take a nice inhale, stretch the arms up overhead, taking a nice long stretch, tips of the fingers all the way down to the tips of the toes. 
Place the left hand on the belly, bend the left knee towards the body as you roll over to the right hand side. Just keeping your eyes closed, coming up to a comfortable seated position, hands to heart centre. Then you've had Namaste.